Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub. And as a part of today's video, we are going to discuss about how to conduct forced degradation study for a drug product as per Envisa Brazil. Now the forced degradation study is required to understand the intrinsic stability of uh, drug substance or molecule. It is also required to understand whether our analytical test procedure has a stability indicating power. And as a part of this requirement, Envisa Brazil has published one separate guidance and according to that guidance, this video is prepared. You will not find the, the details about how to conduct a force degradation into the ICS guideline which is Q2AR2 now, though it is under the draft. But the details are not well explained into the ICH guideline for the method validation. So let us understand what is the definition of the forced degradation according to the ENVISA. The definition of forced degradation is a study that allows the generation of degradation through exposure of the drug substance and drug product two stress conditions so you need to degrade the drug substance and drug product for generation of degradation impurities that is the forced degradation study the most important part is the study design because unless and until you understand okay how to conduct the forced degradation i mean just understanding the definition you are not going to reach anywhere and that is the purpose of giving the study design for the forced degradation study. So according to this guideline, you need to perform the forced degradation in only one batch for each strength of the drug product. One batch has to be exposed under the stress conditions. But in case if you have a drug product with the multiple strength, like let us say, tell me certain 20 milligram tablet, tell me certain 40 milligram tablet, and tell me certain 80 milligram tablet. So how many strength are available for the tell me certain three different strength, isn't it? So you need to conduct forced degradation for all these three strength as given in the ENVISA guideline. The scale of the batch should be laboratory scale or it can be a pilot scale or it can be a commercial scale. So you can select the batch scale or the batch either which is manufactured at your lab laboratory level or if it is a scale up batch or if it is a commercial batch. So any one batch amongst these three different scale is sufficient for conducting the forced degradation study. But make sure that whatever batch you are, you know, choosing for conducting the forced degradation, it must be with your final composition or the formulation. The drug product API and placebo should be tested. And we will talk in much details with the examples on how to understand the, the analysis part. In case if you have a fixed dose combination, I mean a drug product containing more than one active drug substance, that is a fixed dose combination or just a combination drug product. In that case, you need to test each API in isolation and in association. And we will talk about this isolation versus association in the few coming slides. Now this is the important part of your forced degradation study and that is about the acceptance criteria. Acceptance criteria for the forced degradation. So if you go through ICH guideline, you, know, you will not find the acceptance criteria for the degradation. But Envisa Brazil has given these details. And according to this guideline, the test must be conducted to promote a degradation of greater than 10%. And in case if you are not able to achieve 10% degradation, then you need to justify 
why there is a presence of a degradation which is less than 10 percent last but not the least it is about understanding the peak purity or the chromatographic purity in case of uh, the chromatographic test procedure for the drug substance right you need to assess the peak purity or chromatographic purity for a drug substance present in a drug product and the peak must be spectrally pure and there can be different acceptance criteria according to your application software the chromilion can have different meaning of justifying the, the claiming that okay now this peak is pure or empower software can have different acceptance criteria so it is not important what is the acceptance criteria of different uh, application software but essentially you must prove that the peak of the drug substance is spectrally pure I mean, there is no coagulating peak this will help you in understanding why my test procedure is a stability indicating test procedure now let us understand the study design with the help of two examples and the first example is about a telmisertan tablet having 80 milligram label claim so this tablet contain 80 milligram telmisertan sodium hydroxide 4 milligram lactose 78 stars 20 magnesium stearate 2 milligram now this is just a hypothetical formulation right and if you look at the total weight of the tablet is 184 milligram so how you can understand the placebo combination the placebo is nothing but the similar kind of excipients except drug substance which is a telmisertan now so you remove the telmisertan and you get the placebo composition and the weight of placebo per tablet is 104 milligram let us now understand the test preparation so how many test preparations you are going to do the first one is for the drug product now according to your test procedure you have a test procedure in the hand and the test procedure the, the test procedure says that you crush the tablet maybe 10 or 20 and then weigh a tablet powder equivalent to 80 milligram of the telmisertan and then dilute it to 100 ml so how you can take 80 milligram of a uh, or how you can weigh a tablet powder equivalent to 80 milligram of a telmisertan and a kept is very simple for understanding that you know, if you look at 184 is the tablet's weight so if you take 184 milligram tablet weight you will end up having 80 milligram of the telmisertan inside it so to have telmisertan of equivalent 80 milligram you have to take 184 milligram of the crushed tablet powder and then dilute it to 100 ml so how you are going to make the placebo now so placebo is nothing but what the placebo quantity present into this 184 milligram of the tablet powder so how much is the placebo quantity present into a 184 milligram of the telmisertan tablet powder this 184 milligram consists of 80 milligram of the telmisertan so 184 minus 80 comes 104 milligram and you can see over here also the weight of the placebo so the tell me certain placebo of 104 milligram has to be diluted to 100 ml so we have tested drug product we have tested placebo the third one is what now testing api drug substance so you take tell me certain how much now 80 milligram and dilute it to 100 ml so this is the preparation you need to conduct and there could be different stress condition you have to conduct as a part of the forced degradation study and for each this stress conditions you have to prepare at least these three different preparations in case if there is a need of a blank preparation like in case of acid alkali or oxidation degradation you have to also conduct a, a blank preparation too i have not mentioned over here but that is the another requirement i hope you understand it the next example is of the fixed dose combination or the combination drug product and this is the time where you have a telmisertan plus hydrochlorothiazide so hctj stands for hydrochlorothiazide and the, the label claim of telmisertan is 80 hydrochlorothiazide is 25 milligram and then this is the tablet weight i think this tablet weight is wrong okay and let me correct it 
सो हाउ मच इट शुड बी सो इट शुड बी आई थिंक वन एटी फोर वन एटी फोर एंड प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव आई फॉर गॉट टू एड दिस वेट ऑफ हाइड्रोक्लोरोथाइजाइड सो इट बिकम्स टू जीरो नाइन इट बिकम टू जीरो नाइन and the placebo it is absolutely right because placebo doesn't have any kind of active drug substance so for that reason the placebo a weight remains 104 i hope you understand how i calculated the tablet weight and the placebo weight okay so now let us understand how the test preparation for fixed dose combination uh, drug product can be uh, undertaken and here is the first one the preparation of a test sample uh, for a drug product so as per test procedure let us say you have to take a test powder containing around 80 mg of the telmisarta right and you know that uh, about 209 mg of a tablet powder will contain 80 mg of the telmisarta hmm? the second preparation is now the placebo so how much of the placebo present into a 209 mg of the the crushed tablet powder if you remove 80 mg if you remove 25 mg from the 209 you will left with 104 mg of the placebo so weigh 104 mg of the placebo and then further dilute it to 100 ml according to your test preparation the second the third preparation is the drug substance now one as there are two drug substances let us understand the preparation of a test sample for the drug substance 1 let us say that our drug substance 1 is telmisartan so i will weigh telmisartan which is 80 mg according to your test procedure and then further dilute it to 100 ml the second test sample i mean the second uh, drug substance is hydrochlorothiazide so the second preparation of the drug substance will be weigh around 25 mg of the hydrochlorothiazide and dilute it to 100 ml so we got now drug drug product preparation we got placebo preparation we got the drug substance 1 and drug substance 2 preparation the next the drug substance 1 plus placebo so i will weigh 80 mg of the telmisartan plus add 104 mg of the placebo and then further dilute it to 100 ml so this is my drug substance 1 plus placebo preparation similarly the sixth one is drug substance 2 plus placebo so what is the drug substance 2 it is the hydrochlorothiazide so 25 mg of the hydrochlorothiazide plus placebo which is 104 mg and then i will dilute it to 100 ml so in case if you do not understand how i have taken the 25 mg of the hydrochlorothiazide you can understand this with the help of actual drug product preparation so in drug product preparation you supposed to take a telmisartan powder or a telmisartan equivalent to 80 mg so in case if there is a 80 mg of the telmisartan present how much amount of hydrochlorothiazide would be present into a sample and go back to the our uh, the composition part see if there is 80 mg of the telmisartan there will be a 25 mg of the hydrochlorothiazide so that becomes the basis for taking 25 mg of the hydrochlorothiazide in case of even drug substance 2 preparation 25 mg of the hydrochlorothiazide and we are discussing the sixth preparation the drug substance 2 plus the placebo where we have taken 25 mg of the hydrochlorothiazide i hope you understand the logic behind taking 25 mg of the hydrochlorothiazide for its respective test preparations and the last one now the uh, you know the combination uh, or what is the better word let me go back and check okay let us let us do that and uh, it is written over here you know isolation and in association in association means what having both the drug substances together and here is the seventh preparation now let me quickly go back to the seventh preparation the drug substance 1 plus drug substance 2 the preparation of the drug substances in association so how much telmisartan is required 
This tell me tan stands for tell me certain which is 80 milligram and hydrochlorothiazide should be 25 milligram. I'm so sorry it is not 20 milligram. It must be a it must be 25 milligram. All right, so we got all the preparation right now for the fixed dose combination product also. Let us now understand what are the different forced degradation conditions. And you can find the similar conditions into the ICH guideline except one condition. So what are those conditions given into the NVSA guideline? The heating, the humidity, acid solution, the basic solution, oxidizing solution, photolytic exposure and the metal ions. Now this last one that is metal ions degradation is not part of the ICH degradation requirement. It is only been mentioned into the NVSA guideline. I hope you understand the overall uh, requirement when it comes to conducting a forced degradation study for a drug product according to NVSA Brazil guideline. Thank you so much.